Hello students, so today's agenda is the same as yesterday, but we're just doing the second part of 10.7. So it's constructing triangles by, and today we're just going to cover angle, angle, side. Uh, so students will be able to construct congruent triangles by, we already did that, so only angle, angle, side. And so I decided to use this one um, on a separate lesson just because uh, it's a little bit more complex. It takes more steps and so I just want it to be isolated. So, okay, so the first thing that you're going to copy is a, an angle. Then you're going to copy another angle. And then you're going to copy uh, one side, not included by the angle. So copy a side, not included. It means not in the middle by the two angles. And after that, that's where it gets tricky. Uh, so I'll come back to that. Okay. So, to copy an angle, first you have to draw a line, and I'll copy, let's see, I'm going to extend it a little bit more, I'll copy angle B, okay? I just close as you can see in there. <laughs> there you go. Okay, so I'm going to copy that in here. I'm going to transfer it onto our new triangle. And so that means that this is going to be... Well, I'm not going to label that, and you'll see why. Um, so that's... The second step, the third step to copy an angle is to measure, we already call it the pizza crust. Okay. And so that gives us our measurement of where the other side is going to go. So we'll extend it over here this way. The next thing is to copy another angle, <clears throat> and so I think I'll go with angle C. And you, if you want, you can close it or, or open it more. As long as you do the same measurements in here and on the other, that's fine. Or you can keep it the same, it doesn't matter. Let me see if it didn't move. I feel like it moved a little bit. No, it's there. Okay, so we measure the crust. Okay, and that's how big our crust should be on the other slice as well. And we're going to go ahead and draw that in there. Okay, and you can see that this triangle is a little bit bigger than this one. Um, but again, I'll show you in a minute. So then the third step, it says copy a side not included by the two angles. So it can be this side, BC, because that's included between angle B and angle C. So it's either AC or AB. And I think I'm going to go with A, B. And so I'm going to measure side A, B. And that's where my side is going to be. Now, you can see that this side is not 
I mean, it's not there, it's not closing, and you can't just decide to use this and move it because that's gonna make the angle closer. So how can I figure out a way to find a line that is congruent to this one, that goes through here, that, that has the same angle in here to make my A, B, C? Hmm. So this is A prime, B prime. However, this is not C prime. C prime, it's, if you notice, it's smaller, but we cannot measure that because it says copy by angle, angle, side. So, if you recall from previous lessons, we learned about parallel lines, and that's the next step. You're going to construct a line that is parallel to this other side, but that goes through point, so it's gonna be parallel and it's gonna go through point A, okay? A parallel line through point A. So that way when it's parallel, remember that we had to do congruent triangles and that's how we created um, congruent triangles, we created parallel lines, and at the same time, we would have that angle in here, so angle, angle, side, okay? So, to draw a line that is parallel to this other side and goes through line A, the first step is to draw a line just anywhere, I mean, it's gonna intersect this line right here and through point A. Now ignore this line right here, okay? I don't want you to pay attention to this line right here. It's just the point A, this line, and the line that we drew to intersect, okay? So we only need to pay attention to this. Maybe I'll highlight the ones that we need to pay attention to. So the pink and the orange. The pink, the orange, and point A. So let me draw also point A. So those are the three pieces of information that we need to pay attention to right now. Okay, and so I'm gonna measure this angle right here so that we can copy that angle. I'll use this one instead, okay. And so I'm gonna copy that angle. Okay, so we did it in here and in here. We measure the crust. And so that's gonna be the same measurement for this one. And now I have a line going through that point and through this right here intersection and it's gonna be parallel to the third side that it wasn't part of the... So now we know that in here it's gonna be C prime, okay? So by doing this, by doing a parallel line, we'll find the third side and because of that, parallel lines create this congruent angle, so this angle is congruent to angle C, so C prime congruent to C. Uh, angle B is congruent to angle B, and we remember that we copied AB, now becoming A prime, B prime. Okay, so angle, angle, side angle angle side okay so uh, with this you can do the back of 10.7 and have fun <laughs>